As you know, in uh, Mississippi, the Mississippi legislative uh, house, essentially, had passed a bill signed by Republican Governor Phil Bryant, who has rep- repeatedly said he wants Mississippi, the state, to be abortion-free. And the law that was passed requires anyone performing abortions at the state's one and only clinic. There is only one abortion clinic in all of Mississippi to provide family planning services uh, to women. Be an OBGYN with privileges to admit patients at a local hospital. Of course, these privileges are difficult uh, to obtain, and, and you know we're not talking about in the context that emergency. It is a uh, OBGYN that has a, uh, 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 an uh, ongoing relationship with the hospital. The problem is, of course, in Mississippi, that the one clinic that's available uh, has two physicians who do abortions there. They are OBGYNs, but of course they travel from out of state because the environment there is so hostile to a woman's right to choose. And this law was set to go into a, a effect. The Jackson's Women's Health Organization filed a lawsuit with the help of the Center for Reproductive Rights, which is based in New York. And a judge, Daniel P. Jordan, U.S. District Judge, issued a temporary restraining order on the day the uh, new law took effect, which I believe was today or uh, Friday. In the order, Jordan wrote, plaintiffs have offered evidence, including quotes from significant legislative and executive officers, that the act's purpose is to eliminate abortions in Mississippi. They likewise submitted evidence that no safety or health concerns motivated its passage. And the evidence has yet to be rebutted. In other words, you can't pass a law with the purpose of denying women a right that has been extended to them by the Constitution, as interpreted by the Supreme Court. Now, of course, who knows uh, what what the court will do in the coming months or years uh, to this right of women to have some type of autonomy over their own body. But... um, for the time being, anyways, a U.S. district ju- a judge in Mississippi has essentially enjoined that law from taking place, and we'll see uh, what happens in the future.